Hello everyone, I'm Brahm Mistra. I just want to start off by uh, saying thank you to everyone for showing so much support to the series. It's uh, very humbling and I just want to really thank everybody who posts so many of the comments um, about little minor rules clarifications. I, I enjoy it so much. I encourage everyone to continue to do so. Um, I know when the one that I just got pointed out to was when I was fighting the hand um, when you select survivors, zero is a viable option for mo for the most. So like if, if you have zero, if you have zero of something, you could technically still be the most of something. And then you could tie. It's weird. Um, because it goes against the rules as written on the card. Normally when you get zero of something, you go to the next step, but... I guess you could never bypass this step. Anyway, so I made a mistake when fighting the hand for that. Uh, it didn't actually come out to affect anything because he still would have targeted the same person. Everyone else was out of range. But, um, yeah. So, comments like that, I encourage everyone to leave them. Uh, thank you so much for that. It's amazing, and I love reading them, and hopefully I'm able to respond to everybody who does post them. Sometimes I don't get notifications sometimes, and it takes me a while for me to see them, but um, I encourage you to post comments, uh, especially on this video. We will be fighting a level 2 butcher, so I encourage everybody to make a comment uh, and what they thought about the video at the end, especially uh, in the conclusion. I'd love to hear everybody's opinions about the conclusion of this one for sure. So enjoy the video, level 2 butcher. Again, it's thank you so much for the support. It's so humbling. And I'm glad that everybody finds this uh, so entertaining, and I have a lot of fun making them. And uh, thank you so much. Enjoy the video. All right, so here we are. This is the Butcher, uh, level two showdown for the Butcher. So here's the level two stuff for the Butcher. Ten basic action cards. Five advanced action cards, or AI cards, I mean. He's got a 12 toughness, speed plus one, damage plus one. He has the Frenzy Berserker, Fast Target, and Dreaded Trophies. And then every survivor starts with the Infectious Lunacy. This is mostly the same from the last Butcher fight. The only difference being... Here's the... Fast target, which just means he's going to shuffle the hit location at the end of every, at the beginning of each monster turn. So it's going to be hard to filter out the uh, trap and such. Dreaded trophies. This is when the survivors die, you place their miniature on the card. The monster gains the following bonuses for each miniature on dreaded trophies. That's probably going to happen. I don't know how well we're going to do against this. Uh, we're not really prepared, <laughs> to say the least, for a uh, level 2 butcher at the moment. We've been struggling in our last couple of settlement events. Uh, here's Frenzy Berserker. He's going to draw three AI cards uh, every turn. So that's uh, something. <laughs> and then this is the Infectious Lunacy, which... All survivors get one. There'll be four of these cards. Whenever you suffer brain damage, gain a lunacy token equal to the damage suffered. When you have three lunacy tokens, you remove all of them and suffer frenzy. So, as I said, these will go on each card. Or each survivor will get one card. So, let me just put all those there. Okay. Now, we have a tactics card to draw, so we will do that. I won't forget this time. Uh, Lance Formation. While the survivors are standing in this formation, the survivors in the magenta position gain plus two speed and plus two strength. Okay, probably not going to use that, but it's something we have available. Here is the terrain, three columns. And I drew one random. So the three columns always start, and then you draw one, and I drew a survivor's corpse. So we've gone over those before. These tactics cards. 
So, we are not taking out the A team. We are not taking out the B team. We're not even taking out the C team. <laughs> this is like bottom of the barrel here. Uh, we have Clayton, who hasn't gone out since the very first hunt. Um, we also have Chase, who is not a bad survivor. He just can never really go on hunts because of the harvester. He's always noisy. He's got the disorder that makes him noisy all the time. So going on a hunt with him is dangerous. It's not like, I mean, it's a 1% chance of death, but he's always noisy. He's got that disorder. So I can't really send him on hunts, but we don't have a hunt with the butcher. Uh, there's no hunt. So he can go fight this. He's not too bad. He'll be our tank. He's got five evasion. Then we have Zion, who's never gone out in a fight. He is using Fist and Tooth because we don't have any other weapons, because I buried all the weapons for the Black Harvest. Which is why I said we're not very prepared for this. Our extra... we don't really have weapons. We usually have a Fist and Tooth Master always in the fight, but... Now that... We don't want him to die, uh... We're just gonna have to use Fist and Tooth with someone who doesn't even have Fist and Tooth Master, or not even has any kind of fighting arts whatsoever. So, not the best situation. And then we have Ken which is Kenna's twin brother, so he's just going to use her miniature and dress exactly like her um, and do everything she does, uh, except for he has Combo Master, which I believe she also has Combo Master, so it's just the stats are just not very good. All these survivors don't really have the greatest of stats. Chase is the best, and that's why he's tanking. So, because this is a nemesis, we will go first, and we will start right away with Clayton, who is going to shoot with the Vespertine bow with the range 9 and use the clawhead arrow, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, that's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so... Uh, range 9, Clawhead Arrow, which will be a speed 1, and he's got no accuracy, so this is just going to hit on a 6 plus. Oh, i got to make sure to give him his plus 1 damage and plus 1 speed, so i got to remember. He's got plus 1 damage, plus 1 speed. i got to remember to... Okay, so this is going to be hitting on a 6+. plus. All we need to do is just hit. Uh, we do, which is a perfect hit, but who cares. So we hit, so now he gets a minus 1 evasion because of the clawhead arrow. Okay, and we will draw the hit location card. And on this one, uh, the butcher is knocked down if we wound. And all survivors gain plus 1 courage. Uh, and if he fails, it's going to be basic attack. Wow, this is pretty much the best thing I could have possibly drawn. I wasn't even planning on even hitting. All right, so it's going to be an... He's got the Luck Charm, and the Vespertine Bow is deadly, so this will make him have a 8-plus uh, to crit. Not as good as our normal users. He doesn't have any innate luck, and he has the pretty much nothing <laughs> going for him. So he's an 8-plus to crit. Uh, to regularly wound, let's see, the, vest, the claw head arrow, since this is not using the bow, it's using the arrows this time. It's a 6 strength. He's got a toughness of 12. And Clayton has a 1 strength. So it's going to be a 5 plus to wound, 8 plus to crit. Uh, it is a wound. Would have been a crit, but there's no crit on this card. So the, wow. So he's knocked down. Uh, this is actually amazing. So that's one damage. Move that there. Uh, I think this sucks because there's nothing I can do to take advantage of this. <laughs> I could surge. Should I just surge and dash? Uh... So if I were to surge and dash with Clayton, one, two, three, four, 
So you'd need to be one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. You'd need to be here. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so here. So yeah, I could surge and dash with Clayton. That'd be two survival. Might as well. I mean, everyone's probably going to die. I don't know if I can win this. So he's going to first dash, two, three, to put him here, right? One, two, three, four. No, right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now he'll surge uh, to just shoot with the Vesper Team bow regularly. So uh, all reactions are going to be canceled and all hits succeed on a three. So uh, it's going to be Vesper Team bow, speed three. Oh my gosh, he missed once, but that's two hits. I shouldn't really complain. This is going, like, amazingly well. Oh, everything's canceled. Uh, so the reflexes are all canceled. And the death blow actually has a critical wound. So we'll roll on that one first. So this, the critical wound is an 8 to crit and a, what I say, a 5 to wound. Oh my gosh, it's a critical. Uh, the Butcher is shocked. This is the only that you place you can critical. You gain the Mighty Strike Fighting Arts. Okay, Clayton. I mean, you're never going to really go out ever again anyway, but okay. So he gains Mighty Strike. Um, neat. So that's another wound. Oh, I, this is the hit. Okay, so it's left out to remind me he's knocked down and everything. It's on 3+. plus, So that's a wound. Okay, this can, this reflex is cancelled. Um, that's would have been another crit, but that's another wound. So that's another wound. Okay. Well, now... Let me reach over here and grab the Mighty Strike while I'm thinking of what to do. I mean, I know what Mighty Strike does. It's just on a perfect hit, you get um, uh, strength. Here it is. Yeah, on a perfect hit, you get plus two strength, but I'll just show you. There it is. So he has Mighty Strike now. Okay. How can I take advantage of this? So he's already surged and dashed. Can I... Is there any possible way I can get there with Ken? Because that would be great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could get here with Ken. So he's going to dash. And one survival. One, two, three, four, five. And then dash. One, two, three. Yeah, so that will get Ken to here. Okay, now he's still knocked down and all wounds are cancelled. So, now Ken is using the King Spear, so it's two speed, six plus to hit. Ken has one accuracy, that's a five, or it doesn't matter, it's three plus. What, what am I doing? Uh, two hits. <laughs> I was trying to do the math, oops, that was a six. So two hits, and everything's cancelled. All reactions are cancelled. There's two reflexes here, but I'm just going to put them there because everything's going to be cancelled. Okay, so uh, Kingspear has a three strength. Ken has a... Actually, you know what I should have done? Uh, I should have slammed. Oh well. Oh, it's okay. So he's got a three strength. King Spears, that's a six. So it's a six to wound. It's a wound with no critical. He's got no luck. So that's a wound. This reflex is also canceled. That's another hit. Now this next one, there is a wound reflex, but all reflexes are canceled. Um... Um, all reactions. This is a wound reaction. 
All reactions are canceled. Okay, so what is it again? Three, he's got a three strength. Um, this one is what happens on a wound. Eh, it would have been nice to get the minus two toughness, but that's okay. So it's just going to be another six. Ah, it's a miss. Do I want to surge? I mean, he's going to shuffle his hit location deck anyway. If I draw the trap, whatever, right? This is the best time I'm ever going to have to wound this guy. Uh, yeah, whatever. We're going to surge. Brings Ken down to five. Survival. Okay, again, with the King Spear, it's two speed, hitting on three plus. Ooh, he missed. So it's only going to be a one hit. And it's impervious. Whatever. Uh, so he gains one, whatever, one insanity. I don't even have to really roll, it's impervious. So he's up to five insanity. Okay, so I don't think there's any other one else I can do anything with. Um, now, who do we have here? This, uh, she's got the cat eye, or he's got the cat eye circlet. Well, let me reveal the next three monster hit locations, but that's not going to help. Oops. Drop the dice. I'll grab that. Uh, it's not really going to help. Mm. Okay, so I'll just move him to here, and then he's going to block... I could rawhide headband, but it doesn't matter. I'd only let me see the next two AI cards. He's going to draw three anyway, so what's the difference? Okay. That's this. Okay, so at the beginning of each monster turn, reshuffle the hit location deck. Monster now stands while I'm shuffling this. standing. Okay, so first one. Closest threat facing, so that's going to be the tank. Okay. Um, closest threat facing. I did say he was blocking, so uh, what is this? So he's going to be, it's going to speed plus one, damage plus one. So this is a speed two Accuracy is going to be eight. So he needs eight plus to hit because there's five evasion on the, the tank. Oops, I forgot to move him forward. Oh my, got he got a hit. So I guess I block. I guess that just eats the block. Yeah, because he's going to get bleed and knock down. Um... Uh, yeah, so he's just blocking this. I was hoping I wouldn't have to block anything, but okay. So this is blocked. That's the first AI card. Now he's going to draw another AI card, uh, which is a mood. That's good. Comes out of his deck. So Embrace the Pain comes into play. You're going to draw another AI card, so that's fine. When the Butcher is wounded, place one token on this card. At the start of each monster's turn, if Embrace the Pain has two plus tokens, remove all tokens before the basic action. Okay, so... That's going to be in the play. The mood. So... Let's just leave this here so I remember to, to do this. Because that's almost going to happen, like, instantly. <laughs> it's going to probably happen right away. Um, not right away. I mean, it's going to happen quite a bit. So, now, uh, this is going to be the AI card from the mood card. So this is not, this is his, still his second AI card of, of his three. So, this is Wild Carve, closest threat facing, which is again going to be the tank. And it's going to be a speed three, accuracy nine plus, and damage two. 
So, speed three, accuracy nine plus. Uh, that's nothing. That's all misses. So just whiff, 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 whiff. Okay, so a whole bunch of whiffs. Now this is the third AI card, and it's one of the worst ones. Oh my gosh, infinite kick. Closest threat facing, again. Tank again. This is going to be a speed three, accuracy nine plus, yet again. Uh, and then he's going to draw another AI card. <laughs> okay. Uh, nine plus, speed three. He got one hit. It's going to be two damage. Target is knocked back five and gains priority target. That's not bad. I'm glad that he's got the priority target. And it's going to be two damage. So first we'll do the two damage to his body. Okay. So that puts him at one for his body. Now we'll do the knockback five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Puts it back to the board edge. Okay. But now he has priority target, which is fine and dandy. And now we draw yet another AI card. Okay. Uh, another mood. This one, however, doesn't have me draw another AI card. Okay. Mood. When Screaming comes into play, all non-death survivors suffer one brain damage per monster level. Okay? At the start of the Butcher's turn, all non-death survivors suffer one brain damage per monster level. And then this is going to get discarded if someone dies. Okay, so when Screaming comes into play, all non-death survivors suffer one brain damage per monster level. Okay, that brings us down to three insanity on Clayton. Uh, he gets a token. So, let me put a token on Infectious Lunacy. Uh, Chase had no insanity, so he will get one token on Infectious Lunacy, and then he's going to suffer uh, brain trauma. So, let's go with brain trauma. Now we get plus two on all of our rolls because of... Except the darkness... So accept the darkness, plus two to all your rolls. So we get plus two to all brain trauma rolls. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a three. He's going to lose two levels of weapon proficiency. And who is this, Chase? Okay, he doesn't have any weapon proficiency of anything. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Do I gain any kind of... Nope. Don't gain any kind of uh, insanity or anything. Okay. Uh, Zion is going to go down to one insanity and gain one infectious lunacy token. Okay. And Ken will go down to four insanity and he will also gain one infectious lunacy token. Okay. Now, let's go with, um, I'll just look over here. So, okay, so who am I going to go with? If I could, I would like to get Ken to be the one who gets basic attacked. If I could. Because once I do two damage, he's going to do embrace the pain. What is his basic attack? How far? What does it do? So it's going to be speed two, or speed three in this case, damage two. And it's going to gain a bleeding token. Uh, so... How can I... What's his movement? His movement is five. So... If I get one... If I go with Ken, get one hit, move him to range nine, shoot him, the second wound 
would cause a basic action, he wouldn't be able to reach the person. So that's what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> okay, so Ken will go first. Um, actually... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Let's just go here with Ken. And we'll attack in the blind spot. Or, well, no. Uh, it's not actually the blind spot because I'm attacking from two spaces away. So, I'll just attack from where I am. So it's going to be two speed, accuracy, five plus, four plus. Accuracy 4+, plus because this King Spear has accuracy 6+, plus. he's got minus 1 evasion, and Ken has natural 1 accuracy. So, 2 speed, 4+, plus. it's 2 hits. Okay, oh, are you kidding me? So I drew the trap. Ah, uh, I can't even cancel, I just kind of actually have Spear, no. Can't even cancel it because I thought, oh, stupid education settlement thing. Last uh, last settlement, I I could have gained spear proficiency, but um, I could have gained spear proficiency, but I could, but I don't. <laughs> spear master, I mean, but I couldn't do uh, education, so that sucked. Last settlement was was terrible. Um, all right, so basically we're, none of this happens. It's going to explode, but I attack from one space away, so none of that happens. No one's doomed. No one loses any kind, or no one gains any bleed, bleeding, and no one's knocked back. All that stuff's not going to happen because I attack from one space away, but he is going to basic attack the attacker, and then we shuffle this. So let me just do that now. Okay, this is this um, first round was so much nicer. <laughs> um, okay, basic attack. Just had it. What did I just say it was? It's going to be a three speed. So it's going to be a three speed. Um, Three speed, accuracy six plus, damage two. So six plus accuracy, speed, oops, speed three. Uh, damn, that's two hits. Okay, uh, two damage a piece, and then after damage, gonna gain a bleed token. So that's one bleed token. Okay. Um. Wait. Oh, I can't look through there. I I was not in the. Uh... Let me see if this specifically read. I gotta I gotta find the trap again. Okay. I'll have to reshuffle the deck. Okay. Okay, yeah, so the attacker's doomed. I was just wondering if it said the all survivors in the zone of death are doomed, but yeah, this did specifically target the attack. So the attacker's doomed. I knew all attackers are always doomed during the trap, but for some reason I thought maybe this one only doomed the people in the zone of death. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take two... Oops. Dropping crap. Uh, hand and feet. So we're going to take two damage to the hand and feet. Brings down to two on the legs, two on the hands. Okay, and then gains a bleed token. So, okay, now. One, two, one, two three, four, five. Clayton could actually attack, or not Clayton, uh, Zion could actually attack with his fist and tooth. Like, so terrible, but I might have to. 
Uh, nah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so he is within range five. One, two, three, four, five. So I did no wounds. She could actually move now. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna move her to there, or him to there. Because he didn't move to attack. Okay. Yeah, so let's attack with regular Vespertine bow. Speed three. Six plus accuracy. He's got minus one evasion. So it'll be five plus accuracy, speed three. Only one hit, and he's got no. I don't have bow special mastery, so I can't reroll. So that's one. Oh my gosh, it's the same as that card. I could knock him down again. Oh my gosh, that'd be awesome. Okay. Uh, okay, so strength six, strength seven against his toughness of 12, right? Yeah, so it's going to be a five to wound. That's another wound. Uh, the butcher's knocked down, and all survivors gain plus one courage. I think I might have just triggered bold on someone, because I already gained. Okay. I think I might have to trigger bold now. So he's knocked down again. Uh, that's a wound. Okay. Brace the pain. So he's going to embrace the pain. Now he's going to get plus one. Uh, okay. So mark down my courage, courage. Yeah, it's going to trigger bold on chase. And... Ken. Okay, so I got to trigger bold on Chase and Ken. So we'll trigger bold on Chase first. So bold uh, showdown phase. So he's stalwart, which just ignores knockdown by brain trauma. Great for this fight. So they both are going to get that. They're both stalwart now. Okay, first for Chase. A one. Gain a strength token. Okay, fine and dandy. Chase gains a strength token. Good enough. Fine and dandy. Because I mean, he might only be this one fight anyway. <laughs> now, uh, Ken. Uh, one strength token. Well, at least get, get those... One's out of the way. Roll those crap now, I guess. Okay. Um, so they're both going to ignore knockdown for brain trauma, which is great for this. Okay, now he's knocked down again. Might as well surge. Uh, Clayton is surging. So he's down to two survival. Three speed. Uh, accuracy, you're going to hit on a three plus now. He still managed to miss one. Okay, that's going to be two hits. Two. Okay, first one here. Uh, so, Vesper Bow is strength six. He has strength one. That's seven. Toughness is five plus. Plus two toughness here, so it's a seven plus. Uh, my gosh, that's actually a hit. Okay, if the roll to wound the sit location is a lantern 10, your attack shatters one of the trophy lanterns hanging on the butcher's chest, causing willing explosion that sears your or okay. The attacker isn't no, but none of this happens. Okay, so that's a wound. Okay. And this reflex is also cancelled. This one is not the plus two toughness, this one's just a five to wound. Uh, wound. And reflexes are cancelled. Wound. Okay, now 
Embrace the pain. The start of each monster turn. If embrace the pain. Okay, so he's going to embrace the pain. He's got three tokens on there now. So embracing the pain is going to happen. Okay. Um, let's... Uh, let's see. Surge it up, I guess. Yeah, I could surge it up. I could actually dash this time. So slam. You spend your movement to full move. Oh, so I've, I already spent my movement. Because dashing is spending survival. Unless dash... Okay, yeah, so dash, you gain a movement token. When you dash, you gain... You gain plus one movement and use it immediately. Okay, so yeah, I could dash, and then I'll spend that to full move in a straight line. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, boop, and that's going to knock back one. And now it gets minus one toughness. Uh, so that, now I'm going to surge. Okay, so four. So he's down to three survival. Because I spent both of those. Now we're going to skewer. Okay, now he is skewering. So it's going to be a speed two. So he's already slammed. Now he's skewering. Yeah. Then you spend an action to move one space and activate a melee weapon. So he's going to move one space to here with plus two strength. If you wound with a spear, you apply that roll to the next result. So it's going to have plus two strength. So two speed, hitting on three plus. Uh, one hit. Okay. Okay. Um... So he's got minus two toughness. So he's got three strength, four strength, from, that's seven, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so this hits on anything but a one. And it's a wound. Okay, that's another token on Embrace the Pain. Doesn't matter, they're all going to get discarded, so I'm not going to keep adding them. Okay, so. So now he's got minus two toughness. Now, Zion. One, two, three, four, five. He would also need to dash. Okay, yeah, whatever. He's dashing, so I'll spend one survival. One, two, three, four, five, and then dashing to here. Okay, fist and tooth. The speed two. Accuracy doesn't matter. It's going to hit on a three. That's two hits. Uh, so one of them is just instantly canceled and it's going to gain one insanity. Okay, and here's the other one. Reflex is canceled. So he still has minus one toughness from the end to the end of the round because of the um because of the slam. So he's got minus one toughness. So fist and tooth. Uh, Zion has two strength. Then he's got minus one toughness. <laughs> so that's three strength. Uh, it's going to be hitting on a nine plus because I've got no other choice really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no other choice really. Uh, so it's just a nine. A nine's a crit and a nine's a hit, but there's no critical on here, whatever. Uh, it's a miss. Okay. Shouldn't even have bothered with it. Ah, well. Would have been nice. And now he's wearing leather, so he'll back up one. 
And now it is Chase, who can actually attack with the round shield. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, he can attack with the round shield. He's going to be targeted anyway, right? Because priority target goes away at the end of the next monster turn. Or if someone else gains it. Um, yeah, priority target only when it is removed. When a survivor gains it, effect causes it to be removed. Or at the end of the next monster turn. So he still has it till the end of the next one. So uh, he's just going to block... Okay, he's just blocking. That's the end. Now he stands. Okay. Now we reshuffle all of this. Yeah. First, all right, I got a lot of stuff I have to trigger here now. So first we're going to reshuffle, because that's from fast target. Okay, now we've resolved fast target. Now we're going to resolve screaming first. At the start of the butcher's turn, all non-death survivors suffer one brain damage. Okay, so that comes down to two for Clayton. Puts Chase back down to zero. Cyan's at zero. Uh, Ken is at three. Okay, everybody gains one lunacy token. Okay. Okay, there's a reason. Now we've resolved screaming. Now, what's in resolve? Embrace the pain. So that's going to discard all these tokens. Start of the monster's turn. Now he's going to basic action. Well, we already know who it's going to target because he still has priority target. Okay, basic action. Speed three. Accuracy four plus. He's got five evasion, so it's an accuracy nine. Uh, all misses. Okay, those are all misses. Now, let's trigger Frenzy Berserker. It will cause him to draw three AI cards. First of the three, Heck. Again, he has priority target. Again, three speed, nine accuracy. All misses. Okay, that's the first AI card. This is AI card two. The same exact one. <laughs> Targeting him again. Three speed, nine accuracy. All misses. Okay, now I have to reshuffle the deck to draw the third one. And now the third card. The, we'll just do three hacks. <laughs> okay, three speed, nine accuracy. All misses. Okay. Uh, let's kill him now, so people don't start suffering from brain trauma. This is now discarded priority target. It's the end of the next monster turn, because he gained it last turn. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So if I can get to here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather him not trample over people if he has to chase someone down. Okay. Uh, let's just... I mean, that was pathetic. In the best of circumstances, you couldn't even come close to hitting. So we're not going to fist and tooth ever again. You're going to cat eye circle it. We're going to look at the cat eye circle it things here. Uh, okay, this first one is fine. That will be first, because we're not going to attack with anything dense. Uh, then we'll do this one. And then this one. Yeah. So, this one first, then the one that has minus 
toughness, and then it, the one that's on a failure. Okay, because hopefully we wouldn't fail after he's getting minus two toughness. Okay, now let's shoot. I know, technically, not supposed to can I circle it when it's someone else's turn, so I should have can I circle it before I moved him, but my thought process is always move the person I need to move, get them in the location, then prepare my attack, and my preparing the attack is always can I circle it. So, all right. Now his turn, Vesper Team Bow, three speed, six plus accuracy. He's got minus one evasion, that's five, five accuracy. Uh, two hits, it's fine. We know they're what they're gonna be. No reactions, no nothing. Well, there is a wound reaction, but um, we'll do the super dense one first. So, plus one, he's got one normal strength. Plus 15 bow has six strength, so that's seven. A five. That's a miss, okay? Same thing with this one. Uh, five. That is a critical, but no critical on here. So, uh, knocking off the balance. What's your stagger? Is gaining minus two toughness until the end of the round. Great. It's a wound and minus two toughness. It's a wound. Now he's got minus two toughness. Okay. Let's attack with the spear now, with Ken. Okay. I'm just going to move her away. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just get her to here, right? Yeah. So she's just going to move away. Okay, now let's attack with the spear. Um, two speed. Six plus accuracy. Ken has one accuracy. That brings it down to five. He's got minus one evasion. Four. Four plus. Two speed. Uh, perfect hit. Ken has not... Who has... Yes, he's a combo master. So on a perfect hit, he gets to roll again. Uh, he missed. Oh, wait, no. Four is a hit, right? Didn't I say four? Yeah, six plus accuracy. He's got one accuracy. And he's got minus one evasion. So four is a hit. So that's two hits. Two hits. We know the first one's on a failure. Uh, the second one's impervious. So... Uh, the attacker's going to gain one insanity, so I'm just going to cancel that one right away. He's up to four insanity. And this one has on the failure, so... Should be difficult to fail, uh, right? Because the last, the mask, gave him minus two toughness. Alright, so he's got minus two toughness. So that brings it down to a ten toughness. King Spear has three, it's four, so he's going to wound on a three plus. That is a wound, so that's the two tokens on Embrace the Pain. So that's going to happen. How many hits? He's only got four left. Let's move now. One, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Let's surge with the bow user. Brings him down to one survival. Okay. Three speed. Six plus. Minus one evasion. Five plus. Three speed. That's two hits. Eight and nine. Two hits. <laughs> yeah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> A trap. Okay. Uh, someone's actually in the zone of death, or whatever, zone of malice. Okay, so what happens to that person? The bro person's, okay, all survivors in zone of malice gain one bleeding token and suffer knockback five. It's not that bad. Bleed token on chase, knockback five. One, two, three, four, all the way back to here. Uh, basic attack, the or basic action on the attacker. So let's go ahead, basic action on the attacker, which is going to be this. What I'm going to do is shuffle the uh, 
Hit location deck. Okay, now we're gonna basic action on the attacker. Uh, so yeah, he can make it there. One, two, three. yeah, he can make it. Whip. Not good here for Clayton. It's gonna be three speed, accuracy four plus. He's got one evasion, so it's an accuracy five plus. One hit, which is the best I could have asked for. I mean, I would have loved to have none, but what can you do? Um, so that's gonna be two damage. Oops, to the feet. Two damage to the feet. Target gains a bleeding token. Okay, well, oops. He has no body on the legs, or no <laughs> armor on the legs. So it's a heavy wound. Uh, he's knocked down. Okay, he's knocked down. So he's not a threat anymore, which is good. Because he's knocked down. Neat. And he suffered a bleed, right? Yeah, he gains a bleeding token. Okay. Um, okay, Chase. Because it was only knocked back. So he doesn't knock down. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get him to here. Now he's the closest threat. And then he'll block. Okay. Now he's blocking. So, first things first, screaming takes effect. Everyone's going to suffer one brain damage. So, Clayton's going to go down to one insanity, and that's going to trigger lunacy. When you suffer brain damage, gain tokens equal to the damage suffered. When you have three lunacy tokens, remove them all and suffer frenzy. So everyone's going to suffer Frenzy. Uh, well, first let's resolve the damage. So we resolved the damage for Clayton. Now we'll uh, resolve the damage here for Chase. But he's got no insanity, so plus two on his... Oh, so 11 for brain trauma for Chase. Uh, maniacal laughter. Uh, you were knocked down and you gain minus one speed and the priority target, so that's good. <laughs> uh, okay. So now he's got priority target, that's the tank, so that's great. That, uh, that's perfect. And 1d5 insanity. So one insanity, that's less perfect, but still, whatever. So one insanity. That now triggers, or I'll come back for Infectious Lunacy for everybody. He's now knocked down. Okay. Um, this is going to trigger Infectious Lunacy and bring down to Ken down to three insanity and also trigger Infectious Lunacy. All right, so now everybody is going to suffer uh, the Frenzy Brain Trauma. So now everybody gets Frenzy. Game 1d5 Insanity. First, okay, 5. So Clayton is going to go up to 6 Insanity. Clayton's at 6 Insanity. Let's do uh, Chase. Uh, he's going to gain 3. So he's going to go up to 4 Insanity. Let's do Zion. Four in or no, yeah, four insanity for him. Uh, come on, four insanity here, and Ken also three insanity. So that brings him up to six insanity. Okay, so now everybody's got that plus one speed and plus one strength. Okay, everyone's going to gain plus one speed, plus one strength tokens. I'll just remember, <laughs> rather than put the tokens on everybody. I'll just remember everyone's going to need plus one speed, plus one strength. They can't use fighting arts. They can't use weapon specializations or weapon mastery. Okay, no one's using that stuff anyway because all these guys are bums. 
Uh, someone was someone used Combo Master one time. Other than that, doesn't matter. It's actually better <laughs> for Ken because he has Infernal Rhythm, the fighting art uh, that makes him always a threat regardless. So, or no, wait, no. That's the disorder he has. Yeah. So. Um, that's Chase, who has that threat. Who has that, who's always a threat regardless. Uh, but that's a disorder, not a fighting art. Okay, so. That wasn't even anything. That was just screaming, okay? Now I have to do Embrace the Pain. So I remove these two tokens. Embrace the Pain. It's going to perform basic action. So he's going to do this. Closest survivor and field of... It doesn't matter. He's got priority target over here. So... Priority target is his buddy. Okay, let's go. Three speed. Uh, nine plus. Because, yeah, he's got... Plus one evasion from Monster Grease. Plus one evasion from the Rawhide Vest. Two natural evasion and one from the Flower Knight Badge. Yeah, so he's still got five evasion. Nothing from it involved being not being knocked down. Okay. So three speed, nine plus. Uh, one hit. So it's going to be two damage, and he's going to get a bleed token. Two damage to the feet. Puts him at one for the legs. And he gains a bleed token. Bleed token. Okay, that's two bleed tokens. Not the best situation. Okay. Now that's Embrace the Pain. Now we start with AI cards. Um, which first one is Wild Carve. Okay, Wild Carve. He's already got... His buddy with priority target over there. Closest threat facing. Doesn't matter. He's got his buddy. And then speed 3. Accuracy 9+. plus. Stop hitting. Uh, I mean, I can dodge this. So Chase will dodge. So he's going to dodge that one. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer 1 damage to a random hit location and gain a bleeding token. It's only one person. So uh, 1 damage to the waist. Okay, he's down to two in the waist. And he gains a bleed token. It's three bleed tokens. This is not the best day. Okay, that's wild card. That might happen again. <laughs> Here's because I'm gonna have to shuffle. Here's the next one, which is Hugh. Speed three. Accuracy eight plus. Oh no. Uh, I did block one. So I guess I can remove one from blocking. I've already dodged one. <sighs> okay, so one of these is still going to hit, which is going to be a damage four. Oh man, damage four here. That's not good. Okay, damage four to the head. That's a heavy on the head. He only had three there. Okay, that's heavy on the head. Okay, and he gains a bleed token. Uh, he's one bleed token away from death. Uh, so that's probably going to happen. The very unlikely, because I had to reshuffle the AI cards here. So likelihood of death is pretty high for him. Okay, just not the one hack. Okay, good. And it's not the one that, well, I mean, he could die from it, right? It's five bleed tokens and you're dead. So five is going to kill him. Um, speed three, nine plus. Uh, that's, uh, that's not good. It's one hit. Right? That's going to give me my bleed token. Yeah. So he's going to suffer bleed token. 
That gives him five bleed tokens, so he's going to die. Um, whew. Not the best situation here. Yeah, he's he's dead. Um, that sucks. Okay. So he's dead. It was Chase. Okay. Just clean. I forgot to remove all the tokens from them getting infectious lunacy. I'll just do that. Okay, so he goes over here onto Dreaded Trophies. Uh, all attacks gain additional bleed. Okay, all attacks gain additional bleed now. Okay, um... All attacks, additional bleed. Okay, so Chase is dead. Okay, um... He stands because of Fist and Tooth Mastery now. Uh, let's hope to kill him. <laughs> One, two, three, yeah. So three speed. Uh, accuracy is going to be five plus with three speed. Actually, five plus. Uh, yes. And he's got Mighty Strike. No, he can't use Fighting Arts. And this should have actually been four speed. Uh... Because everyone's got frenzied, so everyone's got four speed. Everyone's got plus one speed, plus one. That's four damage. At least if I draw the trap, no one's near him. Okay, that's four hits. All I need to do is just not draw the trap. I. It was the first card. Ah. Ah. Okay, shuffle the deck. Oh, man. Okay, let's perform basic action. Three speed, five plus. That's going to kill him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's going to kill him. Is it even worth rolling? Uh, right, because it's going to cause bleed one. Yeah, that's... That's going to give him two bleed per attack now. That's going to kill him? Okay, so Clayton's also dead. Uh, I don't even need to roll because that's six bleed tokens. Okay, so Clayton's also dead. No, oh, it's only two bleed tokens. What am I doing? It's only two bleed tokens, but he might die anyway. That's going to be his third bleed token. Uh, so let's roll the three damage now. Still probably gonna kill him. Uh, okay. Two damage to the body. Two damage to the head. And then two damage to the body causes severe. So it's gonna be a severe body injury. Body injury. Severe body. To, he's dead. Okay, he's dead anyway. Okay, so dead. Okay. Plus one movement, plus one speed now. 
as well as causing to bleed every time. Okay, so yeah, he's dead. Uh, that's, yep, Clayton is dead, dead. Okay. Okay, so Clayton and Chase are dead. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go to there. Zion's going, or not Zion. Ken's going to spend survival. One, two, three, four, five to skewer. So there we go. So he's slamming straight line. Knock back one. It's going to give him minus one toughness. Now he's going to skewer. So he's got plus two strength, two speed. Okay, uh, three speed. This is actually three speed. And uh, it's two hits, right? Yeah, two speed, two hits. Uh, one's impervious, so we're just going to cancel one right away. And the next one could give him minus two toughness. So he's got minus one toughness from the slam. Brings him down to 11. King Spear has three. Brings it down to eight. Uh, Ken has four. Brings it to four. He's getting plus two toughness. So it's wounding on a two. That's a wound. Uh, minus two toughness until the end of the round now. Okay, so he's got minus three toughness until the end of the round. That's a wound. Uh, you know what that means? That means we're surging. Uh, he's got one survival left. We're surging. It's attacking. Three speed. Accuracy four. Uh, that's three hits. Okay, three hits. One. Uh, okay. Okay, all these are reflexes, but we'll start with the... We'll start with a thick cape here. Okay. So all these things are going to have reflexes. Now, he's got minus two toughness. He's got minus one toughness from the slam. So that brings it down to a nine. King Spear has three. That's a six. Ken has five strength. So it's a one to wound. Okay, that's a wound. Reflex. Attacker D rolls 1d10. If the result is greater than their courage, they suffer brain damage equal to monster level. Okay. Uh, two. Wait, that's not going to be more than his courage. It's not more than his courage. Okay, so he doesn't suffer any brain damage. Okay, so that's a wound. Okay, wound. Uh, next one here. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna just one. That's a wound. So reflex. It's finally round smashing everything. Zone of death. All survivors in the zone of death suffer bash and knockback five. Not in the zone of death because I attack with a spear. So that's another wound. Now the third hit, which should kill him if I don't roll one, and he's dead. Whoo! Whoo! And that would have moved full movement towards me, but that would have been okay. So that's it. Uh, good job. Ken, you killed him. Hello there. Future me, who's noticed while I was editing. And right now, at this moment, I'm putting this clip in 
and the Butcher was just defeated in the Earth-1 timeline. Butcher was defeated right now. So why I say Earth-1 timeline is because when I was editing, the screaming should have been put back into the discard pile. So what I think the Butcher is dead right now, because as you'll see, as you just saw, the wound's at three. And in that Earth-1 timeline, both the AI mood cards are still in play, meaning he's two less wounds, meaning he had one left. I just scored the one. Earth-1, he was just killed. So I'm leaving up which one we want to do, the Earth-1 timeline or the Earth-2 timeline. Earth-1 timeline is the video stops now we do rewards. Earth 2 timeline. We'll see what happens. Earth 2 timeline is I notice that this should have been back in the discard pile and the fight continues. So I leave it up to everyone who's watching. Make a comment. Tell me, do you want Earth 1 timeline or Earth 2 timeline? We'll see what happens. Whichever one you want to go with. I'm fine with it. Um, the How I would have gained the extra wound. So right now, like I said, Screaming should be in the discard pile. In the very beginning of the video, in the very first round, when the I should have slammed into the Butcher. I should have done that. I just didn't do it. I mention it. I say, you know what, I don't, I'm not going to do it. The reason why I said that was because um, when I make a, when I make a mistake that negatively impacts me, because I make a poor strategic choice, I decide to just bypass it. Um, and that the reason why I do that is because if I go back and correct every single move and be like, oh man, I should have actually moved here and I should have attacked with this person first, because that slows the video down and I don't want to do that. So if in that case, I should have skewered, I, or I should have slammed, I could have done it, just all I would have needed to do instead of moving straight and then over one in the last round. I would have just moved over one right away, then moved four, then surge or dashed with my five movement straight in one straight line. Nothing would have changed. I would have just moved in one straight line instead of how I did it where I moved in the very last second after dashing I moved over one square to attack the butcher. I would have just moved up, moved over, then moved three, then dashed, moved five straight, and skewered right into the right of him, gaining the plus one strength. And as I noted, I rolled a four, which was just one strength off from wounding. Had I skewered and slammed, I would get the plus one strength. Everything would be fine. Um, I would have wounded. That would account for the one extra wound for the Screaming AI card. So in Earth 1 timeline, I slammed. I killed a Butcher right now. Because I had played correctly in the beginning and I slammed. That's the Earth 1 timeline. Then it would then continue with rewards for fighting the Butcher and everything. After that, which was about to come up in the video, I do notice that Screaming should have been in the discard. I reset the board state and I finish it off. That is the Earth 2 timeline. At that time, I did not know that I would have hit with the Skewer or uh, with Slam. I didn't know that. It was not until I saw it in editing that that one attack in the very first round would have made a world of difference. A whole Earth world. Earth of difference. Earth 1 and Earth 2. So, again, please leave in the comments which timeline we're going with. Earth 1 or Earth 2. Uh, wow. Wow, would he wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, 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 that was, wow, 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 wow. Okay, what are we doing? I just have to get to the butcher, here we go. Butcher. Victory, butcher is an inspiration. Any victorious survivor may be select after efficiency regardless of age milestones. Okay. Okay, so two. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess Zion. I guess they're both going to take Axe Proficiency. So, whatever. Zion's going to take Axe Proficiency and gain two levels of it. And Ken is just going to gain two levels of Axe Proficiency. He was already an Axe Specialist. I was just hoping to, you know, get the Lantern Glaives. that are also Axes by now, but I haven't been able to. Okay. Uh, the Butcher Ramp... Oh, no, I... So... Roll d10 and add the butcher's level to the results. Ugh, four. Butcher lets loose a final roar, its body explodes, scattering one d5 broken lanterns. Uh, that's okay, five broken lanterns. Okay, great, five broken lanterns. Okay. Um, that's it. <laughs> so the five broken lanterns. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're going to get. The axe proficiency was good. That makes uh, Ken have five for axe specialization. Okay. That's the end of it. Stupid level two butcher. Uh, two people are dead, so we get two extra endeavors. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Chase, and goodbye, Clayton. Um, all right, that was crazy, just crazy. Um, you know what? Just realized something. Uh, <laughs> he's not dead. Uh, well, he is going to be dead. No, he's not dead. Ooh, yeah, he's not dead because screaming gets discarded when I when a survivor dies. Shoot, I forgot to discard that when a survivor died. So I have to do one more damage. It's hard to say because what could have happened here was it could have got reshuffled in there and then drawn. But I think I reshuffled the deck before he died. So this would have got discarded. And then when I went to wound, it would have been in there. So yeah, I need to do one more hit, because he's going to draw this now. Because when he goes to check here, at the start of the Butcher's turn, no one's going to have this, and then it's going to get put in when it dies. Okay, so... Yeah, looks like he's not dead, so i got to do one more damage. Shoot. So he's now going to draw this. Do I have any way of killing him? No, I don't think I'm going to have any way of killing him, but we're going to try. Yeah, so he's going to draw this now. He's going to put this mood into play. Would have triggered Embrace the Pain, too. Yep. Uh, I think he's going to kill everybody. So I'm going to play this next round real quick because I just realized, yeah, he's not dead. Screaming should have been discarded. Embrace the pain is now going to trigger. So after Ken did all that awesome stuff and would have killed him, uh, what's going to end up happening is it's going to have to, we're going to somehow do one more damage to make up for this uh, thing, and we're going to have to survive four basic actions. Ooh, can we survive four basic actions? So, yeah, I'm going to have to survive four basic actions. 
All right, here we go. So first basic action is going to be from Embrace the Pain. Okay, here we go. Four times this is going to happen. If he doesn't kill Ken, it's going to happen four times. Here we go. So this one's from Embrace the Pain. It's going to be three speed. Accuracy... Six plus. Damage two. Okay, that's two. That's going to be two bleed tokens and four, at, four damage. Okay, that's two to the feet, or four to the feet, so that's heavy to the feet. So he's knocked down. So Ken's knocked down now. All right. And he's going to get two bleed tokens. So Ken is knocked down, two bleed tokens. All right, now let's go. Now he's going to basic action, or her bully's going to draw screaming. And everyone's going to take one brain damage. Okay. Brain damage, brain damage. Brings down to three. Insanity, five insanity. Okay. So this doesn't cause someone to draw another AI. So that's one of the AI cards. So redrawing Screaming from the deck draws an AI card. Okay, now I'm going to do two more basic actions, but first, basic action. Closest survivor in field of view. So it's going to be Ken, who's knocked down. So it's going to be four speed, right? Plus one movement, plus one speed. Yeah, it's going to be four speed. Uh, six plus. Okay, that's three hits. That's a guaranteed death because of all the bleed tokens. Okay, so this is another death. Okay. One more basic action, which is closest survivor in field of view. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be nobody. It's going to move to there. Okay. <laughs> she has to wound him. Or he has to wound him. Come on, Zion. You, you must wound him. Uh, yeah, you must wound him, otherwise I lose. One, two, three, four. This is almost going to be, like, impossible. I don't think I brought any... Yeah, I don't... Yeah. So I just have to get super lucky here. Okay, Fist and Tooth. Two speed... Three speed. It's good because of the frenzy. Three speed. Accuracy, seven plus. That's one hit. Uh, it's impervious. Okay, it's last chance here. Surging, so spending a... Uh, okay, three speed. <laughs> accuracy. Uh, I mean, I might as well dash just to get the extra accuracy because he's going to die no matter what. Okay, going to speed two, three, to get to the blind spot, to get the extra accuracy. So now it's three speed, uh, eight plus, seven plus, six plus, six plus to hit. That's a one. Well, I mean, it's a lantern, but I can't use fighting arts. He doesn't have any anyway. And it's the trap. Uh, yep. That's perfect. That's perfect. Exactly what I would expect. So they're all doomed. They gain a bleeding token and knock back five. And then he's going to basic attack. So whatever. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then he's just going to come over here and... So gains a bleeding and knock back five. And now he's going to do basic attack on the attacker and the person is doomed okay so basic attack on the attacker person is doomed that's going to go ahead and be it's got two evasion so it's going to be a six plus that's two hits so that's going to be two more bleed tokens and now he's got plus two damage <laughs> 
So it's going to be three damage to... Three damage to the hands and feet. Puts them at one for the arms and one for the legs. Cool. That's the end of the survivor's turn. This gets shuffled. Not even going to bother shuffling it. Because um, I don't think I'm going to live. Let's go ahead and do four basic attacks, or three basic attacks. So first screaming happens. This gives him one more brain trauma, whatever. Brings him down to two. Gets himself a lunacy token. Good for him. Now he's going to do basic attack. So that's four speed. Accuracy six plus. So that's two hits. Two more bleed tokens. And he's dead. Okay, so I thought I won, but I didn't. Because I misplayed Screaming. Should have got stuck back in the deck after a survivor died. So, yep, there we go. I'll get everyone dead. Let me go back now and read what actually happened when you lose. Uh -huh. So what happens when you lose... Okay, defeat. The butcher rampages through the settlement. Everyone escapes into the darkness until it leaves. All resources in the settlement storage are lost, repairing the destruction. Okay. So everything in the settlement storage is lost. So that's everything. So everything that I wasn't able to spend last time because of crappy un... Yeah, so everything's lost. <laughs> uh, awesome. So that's the end of this episode. Uh, lost everything. This is a huge setback because I had a ton of stuff in storage settlements. Let's see, what did I have? A hook claw. I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 29 resources. So those were all lost. Awesome. So that's the end of the level 2 butcher, which killed us. And I only needed to do one damage to it. But it is what it is. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next settlement event which will be just black harvest all right thank you very much so much for the support it's always so humbling and i'll see you in the settlement